this tiny and on the menu it said it was seven dollars this better not be seven dollars <laughs> Good morning guys, I have my iced coffee ready to be sipped on. Mm. You know what I did? I made coffee last night. I just put it in a jar, left it in the fridge so I can pour it over ice and not have it melt my ice like it usually does. It is currently 9 in the morning and I had a weird, weird morning. I woke up super early around 6.20ish. I went to the track and I was supposed to run a time trial. A lot of things happened that I didn't do the time trial. So here, let me explain. So I woke up, I stretched, got ready. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I called my Uber. My Uber got here. And it texted me like, oh, I'm outside. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm like going outside. The thing with Uber, if you guys are familiar with the app, sometimes the driver, like the little car, it doesn't show that it's here already. But then the car is already here. And I go outside. And as soon as I go outside, the driver takes off. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm right here. Like, don't you see me? So then that was around 6.52. I was like, okay, great. So now I have to get another Uber. And I did. I got the line, but it was a bad idea. Picked up some girl and then dropped her off. And then they dropped me off. By the time I got to the track, it was 7.30ish. School doesn't start till 8, but for some reason... All the kids for PE were dressed and on the track already. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go in there, do it, and it should be fine. But then my stomach was feeling bloated, and let's be honest, I had to take shit. Um, I'm super late, there's a bunch of kids on the track, I need to use the restroom. I'm like, okay, it's fine, I'll just, it's gonna be fine, I'm just gonna do this, I have to get it done. So I started warming up, and when I start warming up, so hot already, and the kids are all over the track, and I really need to use the restroom, and everything was just not right. I was like, I'm just gonna leave, go to a Starbucks, go use the restroom, and I'm gonna come back later today, because I don't have work all day today. That's my crazy morning. For breakfast, I'm making myself a um, English muffin egg sandwich so here it is I toasted it and I'm gonna add a little bit of this salsa verde avocado yogurt dressing and I know that sounds kind of weird but it's actually really good and I'm gonna put a just a tiny ah okay it was supposed to be less than that but I think we can work with this I guess that's fine it's fine all right I have one whole egg and some egg whites and I put a little bit of cheese on top and then I'm just gonna there you go I just remembered that I didn't put any moisturizer on my face <laughs> before leaving the house I think I should be fine it feels kind of dry though so I'm gonna go get my nails done right now they look pretty I mean they don't look too bad but the thing is that I used to always bite my nails growing up and I finally stopped doing that and the other day I don't know what happened and I had a, a break down basically and I started biting the shit out of my nails so they're super super short so I'm like whatever fuck it I'm just gonna get acrylics or right, I finished getting my nails done and I mean they're okay I went to a new spot actually it's not that new I've been there once and I got a gel manicure and I love the girl who did it like she did a good job I loved it but this time um, she wasn't there and I got it with another guy and I feel like he gave me alien looking fingernails and it's kind of funny <laughs> because I always take risks trying new places or like trying someone else every time I feel like they fail he knows how to do their job I look at the nails it's like did you seriously think this looks good is your perspective like super different than mine uh, usually when situations like this happen I'm um, I'm not gonna tip you, sorry about it. I know on the last clip I said um, that if you don't do a good job, I'm not gonna tip you and it wasn't always like that. I would always leave a tip even if I didn't like the job that they did. Even for my eyebrows, if they fucked them up, I would still leave a tip. But then I, it got to a point where I'm like, why am I giving a tip if I'm not satisfied with the service they're giving me? A tip is like something that if you want to give it because their service was good. Back at the track because I have to do a time trial. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like lately my training hasn't been on point. So I don't feel like 
like I've gotten any faster. I'm just gonna go in there, um, give it my all, and give my coach my results and work from there. I still have September, October, November, December before I start training for Boston. So I have time for improvement, but I mean, we're gonna see how I do today. The results are in. I did improve my mile time by five seconds, but it's still not back to when I was at my prime before I qualified for Boston. This was back, back, back again. She Kevin. has a full setup. Kevin's back. And now he's a vlogger apparently. He said that he wants to vlog so he can show his future children his life as a young I just said that because Kevin doesn't want kids and it's funny. Since we ended up coming to the park, one of the things that I enjoy doing on my free time is cheating on your diet. Damn! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but you won some, huh? I oh yeah, I've been trying it's this, it. it's this ice cream. What does one like compare to like? It's this um <laughs> soy milk ice cream. So it's, and it's, it's coconut. It's like booty. It tastes good, what are you talking about? Actually, it's tasteless and then it has a good aftertaste. It's good. It's just... This is one of the things that I enjoy doing on my free time. It's just coming to the park, sitting down and taking everything in and just enjoying the moment and appreciating life. It's just, it, it makes me feel really good. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is um, Saturday morning. And it's not that early, it's actually 8 in the morning. I woke up around 7.20ish. I'm also like stuck in my mind. If you know me personally, I have really crazy dreams all the time. And I think it has to do with what I've been through in the past. That I always have really trippy dreams. They're so exaggerated and so exhausting. When I wake up, I'm, I feel like out of it. And I just think about my dreams and kind of like what they mean or what I think they mean. I'm actually getting ready to go out on my run. I have a seven mile run. Finally, I'm gonna head out. It is 8.30, so I should get started before it gets sunny. I'm jamming out to Fifth Harmony's album. I don't know if you guys listen to that, but that's just fire. Just finished running and look what the Wind blew my way. Look who I found. <laughs> I finished running seven miles. I'm here chilling at this, um, what is it called? Spoke Bicycle Cafe here at the Ellie River and I'm enjoying the free ice water. <laughs> After finishing my run, we just hung out by the Ellie River. Perfect weather, so I was just like, let's sit down, enjoy it. And we did. Now we're gonna have breakfast at this place that I've never been before, but I always pass by it because it's right by where I enter to go into the Ellie River back there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try it for the first time. So it's Bahamas? Yeah. <laughs> Look at our cute cold brew iced coffee. This is so little. They brought us our iced coffee and it's this tiny little container here. It's actually really good. It's like yeah. A nitro. Yeah, it's good. But um so it's like this tiny and on the menu it said it was seven dollars. This better not be seven dollars. <laughs> Cause that's a ripoff. Got our food and it, the presentation is so beautiful. It's so nice. And he got the breakfast burrito. Oh my god, so we just got our check and they were seven dollars. That is crazy. And it was like up to here. Wow. 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 <laughs> we just finished eating at Salazar and it was pretty good, but I feel like the price range was over the top. It's kind of like a Mexican vibe and they're trying to make it super hipster because of the area, I guess. Would I go back? Probably not. It was a good experience though. The, the vibe was good and everything. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. But I wouldn't go back. Just because I paid $7 for a damn coffee cold brew. Like really? Like that's too much. Now you got me fucked up. Nope.
but yeah I'm and I feel like they're giving away more right stuff here. over there some shoes awesome so naked had their little Ready? picture thing so you had to take a picture and get a free juice I was like I'm down I'm down for free juice so we got some stuffed churros what do you think we got chocolate flavor and I chose a cajeta and our free stuff in the background. <laughs> The last clip you saw was of September 16th, the Mexican Independence Day. The really fun cultural event at the Placita Alvera. The sad thing about this whole celebration is that I think it was four days after the big earthquake struck. Like you guys already saw on social media, a lot of the children, people are missing, a lot of houses collapsing, and it's just so sad to see, and it breaks my heart because you guys know my mom lives out there and I have family out there so it's just kind of heartbreaking knowing that my loved ones who were there to experience that really scary situation. So my mom's okay, she didn't um, suffer any injuries, her house is fine so everything's good on her side. So prayers to everyone and stay safe people. Catch you on the next video. Down for one night, like I got three strikes. Call me, hey, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me.